Hey guys, I don't know what happened to my other video. I had to actually make sure that I was in the correct group because I saw a name I didn't recognize. So, <laughs> if you guys are just jumping on, you know what to do. If you're watching the replay, you know what to do. I'm gonna be giving some keywords throughout this live that will let me know if you are paying attention. It's okay if you don't watch the whole live, that's cool. Um, totally up to you. Okay, so something happened today and I wanted to kind of get in here, touch some points because I feel like it should come naturally, like we should know what is right and what is wrong. And um, I'm not gonna name any names, I'm not gonna say anything, but I want you guys to know that, um, you know, poaching other presenters or trying to take a sale off of other people's uh, posts that you know clearly are somebody's customer is not okay. Um, it should come naturally. We should know better not to do this, right? But sometimes it could be that we're doing it like not purposefully or, you know, on accident, what have you. Um, but pay attention, okay? So if you know somebody is a presenter and you know that they are somebody's customer, don't go trying to poach them. And if you see another presenter doing it, I highly suggest that you reach out um maybe to that person and be like hey i didn't know if you knew that so and so is this so and so's person whatever um if they take it as an attack that's up to them literally you're just trying to be helpful um some people come off as desperate don't come off as desperate okay and the reason that i'm doing this training is because it happens a lot it happens to me okay it does happen to me i have other presenters trying to take my people Okay, and I talk about it a lot. Like, I'm like, don't freaking do it. Don't be that person. Don't be so desperate that you are trying to take other people's people, right? So, if you're this far, give me comment knowledge. And I want to know some things that we can all do as a team to prevent these kinds of things in the future. You know, when you're adding friends on Facebook, you want to make sure, number one, they're not a presenter. And if they're a presenter and you're not sure who they are, they shouldn't be on your friends list. Okay. Um, number two, if they are not your direct upline or your upline, upline, whatever, or your downline, they should not be your friend on Facebook, okay? You need to leave room open for your potentials. So, you know, adding a bunch of people who are your side sisters and stuff um, are not going to give room for potential customers and potential people, right? And that's why we leave our posts public because another presenter might wanna follow you, see what you're doing or support you, such as our Y sisters, right? However, if you do see that when you are adding people that they are a customer or they are a presenter themselves, just don't add them, okay? And don't go into their friends list trying to add all their friends because that's poaching and that makes people feel really bad, right? If you can't clearly see that they're a presenter or that they are a customer of somebody's, then add them, that's fine. But be authentic in the way that you are doing your business because you could potentially leave a very bad taste in people's mouths, right? They're gonna be talking about you and that's not something that you want. So just do it with authenticity, just be authentic and Keep other Y sisters in your thoughts, okay? So I'm not gonna go over to so-and-so's. I'm not gonna go over to Katie. Katie's on here. I'm not gonna go over to Katie's page and try to take sales from her or take her friends. If I clearly see that she is a presenter and that she has customers and stuff, I'm not gonna be that person that goes and tries to take people from her, okay? So don't be that person. Be wise, open your eyes, you know, be knowledgeable in the fact that you don't want to take other people's people, right? Because then people are going to have things to say about you. We all know it. Women talk, right? So-and-so did this, and then everybody else is going to start talking about it, and then, they're, and then your name is going to be all over as somebody to watch out for, correct? Comment correct if you know what I'm talking about. So... Just just be wise, like just just 
just be wise in your in the way that you do your business you want people to go out and talk about you in a positive way like this girl is so freaking helpful she doesn't take my people she's so amazing she you know um is just such an inspiration you know what i mean like you want people to say the good things about you in this business and not bad things okay so be wise just be wise open your eyes keep the focus on helping and getting your name out there in a positive way right thanks amber i didn't even see you hello um again why sisters Unless they are your direct downline or your downline's downline and you are their upline, right? Don't be friends with them on Facebook, okay? Unless you're planning not to do this business, then whatever. Do what you want to do, right? But you want to keep your friends list open to potentials and customers. If you see somebody on your friends list that joins somebody else, it's not going to hurt to unfriend them, okay? Don't feel like you are um, hurting their feelings or... Because if they get their feelings hurt, that's their fault, right? That's their problem. So, um, and there's like billions of people in this world and we are in so many countries. So don't feel like everybody has a presenter. Out of the however million presenters there are, only about 250 to 300,000 people work their business in this entire world. So there's definitely a lot of room for customers and potentials and don't feel like you have to stay within the circle of people especially if um you know you're in an area that's really filled with a lot of presenters and everybody's trying to take everybody's customers and stuff like that venture out go out and find people in different states go out and find people in different countries because you can reach the masses that way instead of feeling like you are it's not really saturated, but saturated with people trying to take your people and people trying to take your customers, right? Um, so I hope that this comes across um, as knowledgeable for you guys. And of course, um, as always, at the end, I'm going to put in a keyword for you guys to say that I know that so that I know that you paid attention this entire life. Um, so... But yeah, if, if, if you get it, comment, get it, got it, comment, got it. And just, just, just keep your eyes open and your heart pure in this business. Okay. I'm friends with a lot of presenters, guys. We've got a lot of people on this team, right? I'm not going to go into their friends list and try to take their people. There are presenters that do that and they will take your people and they will, and they do not care, but Keep your heart pure and move on from that. And nobody on my team is going to be like that. And if they are, we'll have a chat. Ha! All right. Well, you guys have a good afternoon. If I have any more knowledge to bring you guys, you'll see me going live in here. Pay attention because we are going places in this business. Nowhere but up. And yeah, if you're excited, give me an excited in the comments below and we're just going to get out there and we're going to do the things. Have a fabulous day guys.